All right, so we're going to start this project with these three materials. We've got a 1 8 inch clear acrylic sheet here. We've got this 1 8 inch black acrylic. And then we've got this frosted glass spray. You could skip this step if you had frosted acrylic. We're going to frost our own acrylic. Uh, I've used this on glass before, but I'm, I've never used it on acrylic, so we're going to see how it works. Since I am still limited to one hand, this will be a little more challenging. I'm going to use this plastic cutting knife to cut this 1 8 inch acrylic uh, along with this straight edge. Now, if I had the capacity to use the table saw or uh, even the band saw to cut this down to the correct size, that would work too. But we're going to use this for now. So the trick is you don't want to get too aggressive. I've learned, and by no means am I professional at this, um, just learning here, but I've learned that you just kind of let the knife do the work. So this has a plastic film on it that we'll have to take off here. Not too bad. Uh, obviously a lot more effort, um, but it can be done with that. And now I've got a little chip out right here and I'll just take it over to the sander real quick and knock that off. But the good thing about this is this is going to be inset in a piece of wood and gonna have a frame around it. So you won't even see this edge. It'll be covered up about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch all the way around. Then this is what the letters and logo is gonna be made out of, is this black acrylic material. Here is one side, three coats. I think I need to do the back side. So I have not done this side yet. Once I get a couple coats on the back side, then it'll be on to building the box and the frame. I'm kind of limited in the tools I can use right now. I'm going to do the whole thing on the Glowforge, but know that you can make this box with any tools and you don't have to use the materials that I'm using. It's always good to get out of your comfort zone and try new things and do things a way that I normally wouldn't do it before. You know, like using this plastic knife, just adding new skills. You don't always have to do it the same way every time. The whole idea here is to make a square where that acrylic will sit into. And then I'm gonna make a box, make some uh, uh, taller walls where the LEDs can sit back away from that acrylic and then the acrylic will diffuse that light. That's the goal, let's see what we can come up with. So this needs a little refining, but I think it's gonna work good. So this is my front piece. Now I'm gonna assemble this face down. So this is my first piece. This is half the thickness of the bottom piece, the second piece, same outside diameter and it creates this little lip right here. And my piece of acrylic, that's not cut straight at all, fills in and completes this, kind of the second layer. So the acrylic is the same thickness as uh, this wood here. And this just creates a nice seam around the outside that matches up, hides the acrylic. I was gonna create some sides that came up, but I'm, I'm a little worried about getting those glued on straight and how it's gonna look. So I'm just gonna go cut a few more of these and we're just gonna stack these up and then glue everything together. So I was using my oscillating sander uh, to just to level out uh, any glue or anything that had squeezed out just to clean it up. Uh, you can also use a random orbital sander. frame is all painted up. I'm somewhat happy with it. Uh, I think it would have worked better if I would have used wood glue and some clamps to really clamp these down. Uh, you can see like right here, you know, it's fantastic. But right next to it is kind of, uh, you can see some lines. 
But other than that, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it'll look fine on the wall. So this piece of acrylic is frosted on both sides. We should be able to slide this in here. We'll add some glue in a second, but. So that is what it's gonna look like. So we'll get this glued in and then we'll add the acrylic bird and then it's on to adding the LEDs. And I have to come up with a back for this, uh, something that's removable where I can get to those LEDs. Cut the LED strip down. These are this is just strip tape, so you can cut it, cut it at increments um, right here. And so what I did was I measured enough to go around the whole thing. Now that's going to be more than enough light, like if they're on full blast. But this leftover controller that I had from all the different LED projects that I've done um, has a dimmer on it, so we'll be able to control how bright they are and how uh, they can change colors. They can do all that. This is the controller, so we'll come out here and uh, we'll just tape them to the inside. That was a fun little project to get me back in the shop and making things. One thing that I wish I would have done a little differently is get those LEDs farther away from that acrylic. I think that frosted acrylic is working great, except you can see those little light dots. And what causes that is the LEDs are just too close to the acrylic. So if I could have made that box deeper and got those LEDs farther back, I think it would have looked a lot better. If you like this project, I've got a lot of other build projects right here. Be sure to check those out and I'll see you in the next video.